Hello, Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first episode of Candy, Candy is, is Dandy. Dandy. Boy, what a cool way to start it. <laughs> <laughs> Three guys talking as if they're on The Price is Right. We're usually a barbershop quartet, but the other guy's late. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is the first episode of a brand new show. Let's let's talk about first, who, should we talk about what, who we are first or what the show is first? It depends if people know us or not. Oh, they don't. Uh, let's explain what the show is. This yes. is Candy is da- This is Candy is Dandy. <laughs> and we're cool. Very cool. I promise. Like sunglasses and doors. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's cooler than forgetting your prescription glasses and having to wear your prescription sunglasses indoor while you record a podcast? So if I can't see anything or read or know who you people are, uh, anything stupid I say, we can account that to I'm wearing sunglasses. And park too far to go get them. Like, yeah, I'm not like right outside and I refuse to no, I refuse. Uh, I'm too cool to go get them. That's how cool sunglasses inside is. Oh, we don't have interns yet for this show. So let's introduce what the show is. Okay. Since we've established nobody knows or cares who we are. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is going to be a candy review podcast. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this is how the show is going to work. It will be released uh, the first and third Wednesday of every month. Mm-hmm. So twice a month, this will be coming out. We will be trying a different candy every episode. We'll review it. We'll give some history. We'll play some games. We'll talk about the what's new in the world of candy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which trust me I found every website that's possible to supply me on that information yeah. how has this empire fallen this week yeah. and that's how you hear Hershey's got bought by Disney the town of Hershey Pennsylvania has been invaded <laughs> by the French forces of Nestle like I said we'll review candy we'll talk about it and we encourage you to eat, eat the along. candy with us eat so we, with we us. have social media we'll, we'll be on Instagram and Twitter we will be at candy is dandy pod so follow us there we'll post in advance what candy we're going to be eating so we, you you can eat along and run to the stores run. and clean them out. Like me at the beginning of uh, Willy Wonka where they start <laughs> the chocolates on the assembly line and I pause it, I run to the store, come back and I got We candy. encourage you to put on your finest ski mask and go to your local 7-Eleven uh, and tell them candy is dandy. Something. <laughs> Don't do what I did and ate a candy bar and empty stomach with only coffee in your body because you're going to sit here and be like, I hope this is over soon because my stomach hurts so bad. Don't do what I did and only have coffee and think like, well, I'm going to be eating soon because now I'm like <laughs> no. sweating at the thought of having having what we're going to be uh, eating shortly. I had a really nice breakfast. <laughs> Fork and a knife and you're cutting a gummy worm. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Scrambled Cadbury eggs for breakfast. Yeah. Let's say who we are. Okay. I am Daniel Zafrin. You might know me from the LA Meekly podcast. Oh, that's you. But mm. you do not because not too many people listen to that. Oh. I, with one of the other people who's about to talk, am one of the hosts of the LA Meekly podcast. It's a Los Angeles history podcast. I would consider myself a comedian. A comedian, a writer, maybe. I'm glad you do. Yeah, no. uh, most people who have heard me do comedy would violently disagree. I'm also on the podcast. My name is Greg Gonzalez. I'm a comedian. I'm a writer. And my name is Beto Sistos, and I am not from the podcast. But you are. You yourself are not a performer. I am not, no. But we will see how this goes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I work behind the scenes as yeah. a stage tech. Uh, in the next episode, if you hear, he's been replaced by a, a really loud calculator. <laughs> it didn't go well for <laughs> me. <A> ten key. <laughs> but you, Beto, is in, uh, involved in our pod, in our other podcast because you helped write the theme song. That's right. Yeah. I did, yeah. And so you might not know my name from that. <laughs> <laughs> the theme song that you had just heard, we haven't recorded it yet, but you and I will be, yeah. will be playing that. I'll have my hand in both. Yes. My invitation must be in the mail somewhere. Yeah. Be <laughs> um, it must uh, be. I must, I'm waiting Did you it, go so. to Juilliard like <laughs> me and Beto did? Mm. Interesting. Oh, I'm in Cigarettes After Sex. A lot of people don't know that I'm that Greg Gonzalez. Yeah, that we should say not that Greg Gonzalez. Well, that's who you will be replaced by if this doesn't go well. I only can work with Greg Gonzalez. <laughs> Oh, the, one other thing I wanted to say is that I realized as we were planning all this that my great grandpa ran a candy store really? in Yonkers, New York. And that made me kind of proud of like, wow. I'm continuing the tradition. That yeah. is amazing. I, You're a taffy toddler. If I had been born a hundred years ago, I would have been working in a candy store, which is the equivalent of running a podcast. <laughs> there would have been wax cylinders of me tasting all of my great grandpa's candy <laughs> as he yelled at me saying, you've got to pay two cents <laughs> I told you not to come back here. Child of the future. And I'm wearing like 
like a puffy vest and, <laughs> and my watch keeps beeping. So, all right, let's get into this a little bit. Yeah. I've got some candy news for everybody. I cannot wait to hear what you dug up. Mm-hmm. What's going on in the candy world? Yeah, what did the dark web tell you about the candy world? <laughs> hey, on, this is coming through the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they coming to the wire. <laughs> we don't have interns, but we do have Telegram messenger boys. I'll be the intern soon. Come on, this is not going to go well. <laughs> uh, next episode, we, two hosts and an intern uh, bring you... <laughs> you still are fully involved, but we just call you an intern. <laughs> okay, so I've got some candy news here, everybody. Wait. Lay it on me. You've heard of Kit Kats. As you said before, they're like little rafts. They are like, mm. they're, the, they're the life preservers. That's well, I right. guess the lifesavers of the life. Yeah. If you're, you're on a chocolate river, you're going to be on a Kit Kat and you will have life preservers on the side as in case you fall over. Twix is oars. Yeah. Twix yeah. is oars. One for each side, of course. <laughs> and there's Swedish fish uh, swimming in there. And Nobody will eat them. <laughs> you will be chased by... Gummy sharks. <laughs> and you will be chased by gummy pirate ships. Uh, they, they make gummy anything. So gummy anything. A, you'll be defending yourself with a gummy gun. I guess. Um, okay, I don't know if you two are aware of this, but in Kit Kat, in, in Kit Kat, in, in, in Kit Kat, which is what I call Japan, the land of Kit Kats, because they have so many Kit Kat. They do. Fl- there are so many different Kit Kat flavors in yeah. Japan, but there's a new one coming to America. Oh, previously in Japan. I don't think this was because this doesn't sound like something Japanese people would like. Mm. Um, a uh, hard generalization. I like that. All right. And I stand by my statements about the Japanese people on this show. Yeah. And I commit to this generalization. Uh, I also have something to say about German people. Good things. <laughs> I lost track of Germany after World War One. Great country. I haven't really checked in on them since then. So coming to America uh-huh. this spring, Kit Kat flavor blueberry muffin whoa okay i i feel like uh, i made the face of the sound you made yeah <laughs> you both oh, aren't into that right. i thought that sounded really good because have you had covered it in chocolate it's like chocolate and then I the bet, innards i are bet it's going to be like a blue coating that's not quite oh. chocolate you don't like that <laughs> yeah that lost uh, me have you tried a lot of the ones from japan uh somebody from my work brought some in there was i, I didn't keep track of what each flavor were but they kind of all like melded together yeah like there's a lot that there was like um it was like roasted rose petals or something or like cherry roasted cherry blossom and like matcha or something yeah and i thought like this is going to be awful (laughs) but i and i said that to the the emperor (laughs) i was trying to think of like i know that there's royalty i don't think it's an no it is an emperor i didn't say anything (laughs) untoward there's an emperor of japan no one's debating that but i said this to him and that's true but i thought like this is going to be weird but it was really good like the the flavor and you can taste all the taste that was promised you got all I that te- I, t- I tasted the rainbow which is a, a different catchphrase <laughs> give me a break i don't know all the catchphrases hmm? it was pretty good huh? you remember too That's i'm good. sitting in the middle of both of you so i have to yeah you have to huh like you're rodney dangerfield i'm the child in the middle of my parents um <laughs> scolding you yeah <laughs> How much did you eat? <laughs> but I, th- I think that sounds pretty good. I would, I will at least try it. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna try it for I'll sure. Try it. I love trying the new stuff. But blueberry muffin? Does that? I just can't see it as a candy. I can see it as a muffin. <laughs> Obviously, I can't see it as a candy. I'm curious how they're gonna do the muffin portion of that flavor. It's pro. I bet it's probably just like a vanilla wafer on the inside of like a blueberry coating. Okay. Thing. Hey, save it for an episode, <laughs> yeah. and save it for when Kit Kat sends us free candy, and also we get invited to Japan for all the things I've said. Already. Already. He knew that we had an emperor. It's pretty good. Send him a plane ticket. <laughs> he knows so much about our his, our, our culture. <laughs> Kit Kats and emperors. That's uh, Japan in a nutshell. <laughs> okay, so that was candy news. Wow, one story. <laughs> That's pretty good. What, you want multiple candy? What do you, yeah. Yeah. What do you oh, want from me? <laughs> I want the, the breaking news. Top three breaking news. A bunch of middles. Candy stocks. Yeah. Got <laughs> candy Dan Rather. Yeah. What happened to candy sports? Yeah. In local candy news, this dog Doggy, too much candy. You had to go to the vet. A local Reese's was murdered by <laughs> the lollipop killed. <laughs> We're still looking for the body of Gummy Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> Necco wafers are up ten cents today. <laughs> but yeah, we'll send away our Telegram boy. Yeah, go, go, go back to the street corner with you, Newsy. <laughs> <laughs> and don't talk to me on, on microphone. I told you not to call me, sir. I'm just like anyone else, but get the hell out of my face. 
so now I am going to we you know we didn't even say what our candy bar is today. No, I feel like it should be buried a little bit. Yeah, it, it, it trick people into yeah, listening to the part. news, even though people will see it in the yeah. description of the no, episode and beforehand. Since it's our first episode, I figured we go with the undisputably mm. the king of. Oh, you candy both agree? Bars. <laughs> wow, you both agree that is the undisputed oh, king. Yeah. Of candy I've been bars? calling this the steak of candy for years. Oh, it's wow. the steak of candy. I first heard you say that, and I was like. Yeah, um, you know, Greg's dumb. I know. <laughs> He's like a like oh, a rube. Boy. Yeah, a dumb clock is still smart uh, <laughs> twice a day. But. No, I, I think you're absolutely right that this is the steak of candy bars. We'll get into whether or not. Damn, I'm yeah. on your side. I don't know if I agree with that. Oh, okay. but oh, I do yeah. not dispute that this is the king of candy bars. I am just a lowly concubine in the court of <laughs> Snickers. If I ever go against the will of the Snickers, I am exiled <laughs> into the land of of candy. There's always a home in Japan for you. <laughs> <laughs> Protect me. I'm in exile. I heard there is a new land <laughs> where Kit Kats reign supreme. <laughs> I think you're absolutely right. That is, is the steak of candy bars. But I also think you're absolutely right that it is... Yeah, There's something eh, wrong here. Eh, Way to flip flop, Daniel. Eh. The light, the lights are flickering in here. <laughs> Someone disagrees with me. Look, I don't want to take sides on this. I'm not here, I, even though I took some strong stances on Japan earlier. <laughs> on. I figured for the first one, this is a candy bar. Even if, however you feel about it, everybody has had a Snickers. Oh yeah. So this. Oh is, yeah, you're right. Let's hear the history of okay. Snickers. Okay, get into it. Because I am starving. <laughs> Hungry? Why wait? Oh, God. Because I have history to tell you first. <laughs> You greedy little pigs. Um, so what is a Snickers? Uh, that's, a, that's a deep question, man. I've been asking every liquor store owner this. What is a Snickers? Minds have pondered this for eons. That's another thing of Snickers mm. is it's one of the those few cherished candy bars that are like, if you go into the candy section of, of Ralph's or something, it will not be in the candy section. It is in the hallowed ground of the impulse mm -hmm. buy right by the register. Yeah. That's how you know like this is, this is it's good. beyond on just candy they assume like well this is essentials this, this this is like well you need water for the day yeah. you need your snickers i feel like snickers have achieved food level like <laughs> essential food level the steak of candy bar it's i've seen it on menus before yeah. oh i have a snickers and bring it to my table on a plate the food pyramid foundation is just <laughs> snickers. one snickers bar yeah and oh, the actual pyramids too uh the hebrew slaves <laughs> they they were fed snickers yeah let me explain judaism a little on passover we eat unleavened snickers yeah, um, but then when we go <laughs> through the desert, God gave us Snickers. To <laughs> Forty days, forty nights of Snickers. When you die, they put uh, fun size Snickers on your eyes. So when you yeah. pass over, well, the pyramids those are actually Toblerones. Uh, so it was it was a religious difference. Thing. But yeah, you're you're absolutely right. It has been elevated to the status of like like a power bar. Well, that's what we're going to get into a little bit because they sort of market themselves of like we're not bad. Like we're not candy. Like if you're going to be if you need energy for the day, you need a Snickers. It is. It's like you go to the grocery store, you need some lettuce, you need some tomatoes, you need some <laughs> Snickers, you need some milk. Okay, so what is a Snickers? From a literal standpoint, it's a sheet of nougat that is then covered by a long layer of caramel with peanuts mixed into it. I watched a video, one of those of like, how is Snickers? Yeah. Made? This mixture. The guy of, in the van talking. About <laughs> <laughs> hey kid, want a Snickers? I'll teach you all about them. <laughs> yeah, I met this guy um, by like where the electrical towers are. <laughs> And he taught me a lot about a lot of things, but um, the mixture of caramel with peanuts, it looks with, oh boy. Wow. I'm hungry and we talked about vans and then another emotion was aroused in me. So peanuts mixed with caramel. Caramel. It looks like fake novelty vomit. The caramel? It, the, the, this mixture the of the mixture. caramel right, with peanuts. Right, right. It looks like- Oh, because there's chunks, but it's wet. It's chunky, but it's mm. like, but also it looks like, it's not wet. It's like rubbery. Greg, you're dumb. It's, <laughs> you throw up rubber? Go to the van. It's, <laughs> you need to learn, Greg. It looks like you just like slap it on the ground and it's kind of like rubbery and oh. it's like clearly that's not <laughs> what vomit. What are you doing with your Snickers? It, 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 no, I'm not talking about Snickers. I'm talking about fake novelty vomit. Well, I'm, what am I here to talk about Snickers? So it looks like that. And then this ungodly sugar brick, it's when they top that vomit stuff onto the nougat. It's cut into candy bar sized pieces and then enrobed top and bottom in chocolate. God, I am so Enrobed. Wow. It is enveloped. Enveloped. All right, I'm going to be the one who says it. I can't be alone. What the hell is nougat? I was going to ask the same oh, thing, but I was okay, going to ask it I like, was I was so shy. Like, okay, it's going to get quiet. Listeners. I got you. <laughs> you dumb idiots. I was so afraid you were going to ask this because I also am not entirely sure oh, what nougat is. God. 
because nougat is like what's inside of a uh, Three Musketeers. Yeah. yeah, that's like all nougat. I yeah. think it's sort of like an egg whipping okay. sort of thing. Mm. Okay. I honestly do not know, but I'm not here to talk about nougat. Yeah, we are going to find out for you. Yeah. I am not here to talk about nougat. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. It's part of the Snickers. <laughs> you talk for a second. I'm going to look up what nougat is. Okay, well, here's what I thought nougat was. Yeah, what did you think nougat is? I, I just thought it was like, yeah, I guess like mostly what you find in the Three Musketeers. Mm-hmm. Like it just like kind of white, yeah. soft, They extract sweet it stuff. from Three Musketeers and they put it in. Because yeah. Three Musketeers grow naturally. <laughs> if you want to make a Snickers, you have to kill the Three Musketeers. It's definitely it's, whipped it's, something. You yeah. better at least kill D'Artagnan. <laughs> okay, I've got our intern Newsy boy came back in uh, covered in nougat. Yes, sir. I found a nougat. <laughs> you boy, get me the nougat yes. as big as you. Oh, right away. <laughs> Stop coughing polio on me. <laughs> nougat is a candy made from sugar or honey, nuts, and egg white. Okay. Wow. So I knew it was egg white related. So, so it's so, for sure egg white foundation, right. possibly with, honey. With sugar, with or honey, and a little bit of nuts mixed And then it's it. whipped. But when you go to a restaurant, they're like, how do you like your eggs? And you say nougat. They say nougat. no. <laughs> like that. We, no, that's not an try option. That next time. <laughs> I found that I really like nougat because I had a candy that was like just nougat. And I was like, this is like old Like no candy. outer shell of it any It actually kind? did have chocolate on it. Okay. But even if it okay. did, eat, I would love you without your chocolate <laughs> shell. Wow. I don't need that extra component. Back to the Snickers. The top is decorated with some swirls, which we'll get back to right, a little right, bit right, right, right. later. The, the pattern on the bottom of a Snickers oh, right. is actually the indentations of the conveyor belt that they're cooled huh. on. I've always thought it looks like the like a, a shoe sole. Like it's got like yeah, the bottom it of has a shoe grip. look. I don't think I ever bothered to look at the bottom of the Snickers. <laughs> it's just, I just, in, close it's just my eyes. in your mouth yeah. by the time it, before it's even out of the wrapper. Uh, so there are about 16 peanuts per bar. Okay. Which to me sounds like an absurd amount of peanuts. In such a small amount of space. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a controlled number? It is. Oh. It, I mean, it, there mm. might be 15, there might be 17, but the number the number that they are going for is 16 peanuts in a, nice. in a Snickers bar. Okay. Does it get whipped in? Oh, no, you can taste it when you're yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. okay. well, it's mixed in with the caramel, but it's not like, it's, it's not, not broken a, up and then mixed into the mixture. Or anything. Yeah, yeah. That yeah, would be disgusting. It's like peanut halves, right? No, it's like whole peanuts. Oh, they're whole wow. peanuts? Wow. Yeah, they're they're shelling it. everything. Dang. <laughs> yeah. That's why I feed Snickers bars to elephants at the zoo. So, okay. So now for the actual history of the Snickers. So this candy bar came- Paint a picture. Okay, fade in. (laughs) 1920s. It's the Gilded Age, but this gilding is chocolate. The Great Gatsby is hungry, (laughs) but he's acting like, uh, what's the other character's name from the Great Gatsby? Who isn't the Great Gatsby? Why do I think Skip? His name's not Skip. (laughs) He's acting like the green light on the other (laughs) side of the river. Am I right? The candy bar came about in the late 1920s. Okay. Jazz. Uh, Cars that can go 30 miles an hour. Germany is happy to have been defeated in World War One. <laughs> Things are going great. And they always will. Okay, so this is, you've heard of this guy. He's legendary. Him and his wife, Frank and Ethel Mars. Oh, yeah. Of the Mars, Mars. County Company. From the planet. Of Mars Attacks. Yeah, yeah. So they were trying to come up with a follow-up to their Milky Way bar, which uh-huh. was sweeping Whoa, the nation. Milky Way is older than Snickers. Wow. wow. It is. But isn't that it, interesting? Milky Way, Mars? Oh, I think it was brought by, much like the pyramids that we've all agreed on are from another world. So I think they, what celestial body is Snickers? There is a ninth planet. <laughs> Sorry, it's not a Pluto bar. <laughs> Although it is another animal. So I always thought Milky Way was just a Snickers without peanuts. So like you said, it's kind of surprising that it came first. So it was weird to me when I read that it took them three years of experimenting to get the Snickers recipe right. But it seems so obvious of like, you got peanuts in my Milky Way. It's probably like a consistency thing. Like how do we keep it together more than, oh, innovative peanuts in a candy bar. (laughs) And it's just like this troll looking candy bar. Uh, Look, I'm not here to talk about the Milky Way. Milky Way Milky Way. does taste like an older candy though. There's something about it that makes me think like, oh, this is from another era yeah. as opposed there's a real It's super a real, simple. Yeah. It's simplicity. Yeah. There's a real modernness to a Snickers and I'm like, oh, this was This is a high tech. This is a this modern is candy tech. bar from 1920. It does seem sort of like you can taste the depression in a, in a Milky Way. <laughs> well, in a Snickers too. So there's apparently a similar sort of treat that existed already that was made up of nougat, peanut and caramel, mm. but it was the Mars people. The Martians, so they prefer to be called Mars. Martians, Daniel. <laughs> the friendly people of Mars. <laughs> so it was them who decided to wrap it all in chocolate, this other candy. that, Like I said, it was peanut, nougat, caramel. Right. But it wasn't wrapped in chocolate. So they're like, let's just put that in chocolate. Yeah. And the Snickers bar was born. But it was not yet known as the Snickers bar, but the Mars by this point, the Martians by this point, <laughs> were very rich people and very rich people own 
horses, I'm told. And just two months before the release of their new candy bar. Chocolate horse. (laughs) He broke his leg, sent him to the Snickers factory. Their beloved horse, Snickers, Mm. died. So they decided to give their candy the name in his honor. That's why you'll find 16 pieces of horse in every Snickers Uh. bar. Kind of hairy. It's got a little snout in it. So that's nougat. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nougat was their other horse. <laughs> but also, I think sea biscuit would have been a great cookie name. If oh, you you're one. right. Sea biscuits. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pass the or sea like biscuit? a sea salt chocolate bar. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. You eat it at a pier or something. Yeah. 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 With and, seagulls. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and then I get a pet a horse. <laughs> Right? Right? Uh You promised. Okay, so the Snickers was released in 1930, first being sold in Chicago for five cents each, and it seemed to have taken off pretty quickly. Like, I know. And through the 30s, it did absolutely fine, and nothing came along in the 30s to smash it. But really, though, when you're thinking about the Depression, like, if if it's like, I've got five cents, and I've got to make this last, like, you get a Mm. Snickers bar. Like, it came out at the perfect time. It's also- Gonna jump off a building? (laughs) You're not yourself without your Snickers. (laughs) Please, get it. It would have lived if only he had a Snickers. <laughs> From 1933 to 35, it was sold as two pieces. Oh. Kind of like how Twix or how Snickers peanut butter bars are Yeah, now. I was going to say, throwback? They kind of went back to it. They were known as double Snickers. But before and after that, it has been the log that we now know and love. But the size has shrunk over time. Mm. Um, oh, we're, we're getting... unacceptable. Yeah. Why did we get the short end? Why did we get the short <laughs> log? <laughs> My parents were able to just buy big Snickers and now me, a millennial, can't afford... <laughs> Oh, we get the short Snickers? Yeah, always. <laughs> if you wanted to buy a big Snickers, you shouldn't be buying avocado toast and coffee every day if you wanted to afford a big Snickers. It is sort of like going back to their roots, which is also sort of like it's already smaller, but now you're leaving a gap of nothing in the yeah. Snickers. Come on. So in 1967, it crossed over the salty chocolate pond of the Atlantic and started being sold in the UK as marathon bars what? and I couldn't get a definitive answer of that. They don't have horse names in Europe? What? The best answer I could get was that because of the high in calories and protein that the oh, bar has, oh, it would give you enough energy, energy to run a marathon. But also the thing that makes more sense is that knickers means something else in the United Kingdom right. and they didn't want, in the horny swinging 60s UK, they didn't it, want they the confusion. These are pants? Yeah, is knickers pants? I don't know if they're pants or underpants. Oh, okay. I think it's underpants. But For some reason it reminded me of Pac-Man when they uh, exported Pac-Man from Japan, it was they originally wanted to be called Puckman. No, yeah. why? He because like that's puck. the literal translation oh, from the oh, Japanese okay, name. Right. They they thought Puck was too close to that other word, oh, like okay. Knickers and Snickers. What, 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 but this was the seventies or sixties. Right? It must have been. Uh, I would imagine late sixties, early seventies. Because okay. people were like undeniably horny in that time. Yeah. So that any tangential relation to something inappropriate, they're like, we cannot give them this. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> so then we got Pac-Man, and that's why we're going to dissect Pac-Man today. <laughs> there's a free love movement going on. We cannot. We got to be really careful. Well, we yeah. name stuff. <laughs> Peace and Snickers. <laughs> Back to the UK in 1990, they did switch to Snickers though to make it more, a more uniform. In England. In the in United the Kingdom. Once they finally grew up and something. <laughs> so in 1968, both Snickers and the other Mars company hit Milky Way became the first two candies to be offered in fun sizes oh, in 1968. There which we go. is how I kind of prefer my Snickers in fun size. Really? Mm. Yeah. Because it is less of a meal. It's more of an appetizer. It's more like finger foods. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I like a little toothpick in it. One size Snickers is like the veal of candy. <laughs> Kill them when they're young. We break its legs. In little tiny cages. Yeah, they're just fattened up with, with uh, they just have milk shooting straight into the veins. That's what they're for. Uh, but there's nothing like a nice, tender, fun size Snickers bar. Snickers were the official snack of the LA Olympics in 1984. Really? Dang, Snickers. And the oh. beloved ice cream bar version came oh, out yeah. in 1989. Those that long ago? Yeah. I feel like that's way Yeah, I feel like there was a modern. huge gap between when they came out and when I discovered them. Well, you were born in 1940. <laughs> <laughs> we should mention that. Well, when we, well, when we were... Well, 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 well. Uh, I may be a simple country podcaster, but when we were of the age of like, we can not beg our parents yeah, for Ford ice cream. Right. Ice like, cream you Snickers. know, we were... That was like late 90s, early... I guess, you know. yeah, I guess so you're right. So that's when... I came of age with the Snickers ice cream bar is what I'm trying oh, to say. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I just no. don't remember Snickers ice cream bars being a part I of I remember my life seeing that them early. all the time. Yeah. But I mean, I never really got them, but like they were there. They, yeah, were, they were there. I feel like that's like gas station ice cream. Right. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. More yeah. than 
Eleven. Yeah, like, you go to, like if it's a hot day, you're going to Seven Eleven to get a to to get a. <laughs> We're going to the gas station. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where I get all my groceries as a kid, the gas station. <laughs> Where I just go with a plastic bag, fill up my gas bag, <laughs> and just cool off with a nice Snickers ice cream. Dip my feet in a bag of gas. <laughs> <laughs> fill up my above ground pool. I should mention I'm a hillbilly. <laughs> Um, who drinks gas. So in December 2000, thousands of Snicker bars were thrown away in Australia after somebody issued a... Th- Wait, what, what year? In the year 2000. Oh, okay. That was there how they battled Y2K? Yeah. I, yeah. I know how to solve this. Chocolate <laughs> overload. I don't want all these Snicker bars to reset. <laughs> So somebody issued a threat in New South Wales that they had poisoned Snickers and Mars bars and they mailed one into the police or something filled with rat poison. So they threw all of these Snickers bars out. I'm assuming there's multiple factories around the world for Snickers. It might be Texas, actually, which might be making the great state. The (laughs) biggest one. (laughs) You're going to have the king of bars. It's got to be around the the king of states. Everything is shrunk in size in Texas (laughs) over the years. So you're saying at the in the ocean around Australia, there's a bunch of Snickers just waiting. Well, that's why there's so many crazy spiders because they all fed off yeah. of Snickers. The rat bite. poison Snickers. Yeah. The fish have evolved in the, on the rim of Australia. <laughs> they don't have a coral reef anymore, but there are a lot of Snickers. Just throw more there. Snickers in. They'll yeah. be all right. What's the big deal? Sure, Snicker bars are made out of coral reefs. That's what nougat is. Finally. So, like I said, they have a very high calorie count and there's so many peanuts in it that it was always kind of marketed as I guess being, we'll get into that. We'll yeah. get into that. I've got a whole comparison. It's always kind of been marketed as being a source of energy for you and right. that it'll keep you full, which is why words like satisfying, yours says satisfies right on it. Mm, it does. Satisfying and hungry always come up in their marketing because that's their, like they're really pushing. This morning I left the house and I stopped to get the, the candy bar for the day, which is apparently what I do every day. And I had it on the way over just to, to eat it and be like, what, what, how do I feel when I'm like a, like I'm Don Draper? Like what does it make me, what memories does this trigger? I'd like to buy the world a Snickers. <laughs> what it what was, it, how do I feel? I, imagine Don Draper. I'd like to have an affair. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the movie theater during the day. It, it filled me up on the way over here. Yeah, yeah, it, it filled works. me up. I was gonna stop and get donuts before this because I knew it was gonna be early. I'm like, empty no, calories. Fun. Yeah, empty <laughs> calories. Empty. Cal- <laughs> These are also empty calories, but they're heavier. Stop. I don't want to say bad things about candy. The, so the most famous campaign being there, "You're not you when you're hungry." Ads. Right. Those yeah. started in 2010, which is wow. with uh, wasn't it uh, Betty White was the first one, was or it? at least the most famous one. Yeah. Wasn't there one with Roseanne? Where maybe the uh, I hope the not. Un- Impeachable Roseanne. <laughs> I also haven't followed her career lately. Um, there was like a Gilbert Gottfried. Boy, yeah. yeah. Things have happened to a lot of these people. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe it was the Betty White one. Where she's playing football. Yeah, you're playing like Betty White out there. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh, but there was one um, with not Joe Pesci. Was oh. it Joe Pesci? Oh, there must have been a Joe. Yeah. I mean, they got the big bucks, man. They can yeah. afford. Uh, well, when you're the king. Uh, yeah. It's good to be the king of candy. Heavy as the crown. Heavy as the calorie. Count. <laughs> so today, Snickers is the best selling candy bar in the world. World. Is it really? What? They make about 15 million bars a day, taking in over $2 billion a year in over 70 countries that they're sold in. So they are undisputably the best. Yeah. They are not. Whoa, be, whoa, 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 whoa. I dare yes, say yes. they are the emperor. The emperor. <laughs> yeah. I take back the best. So now the recent controversy. Yes. A picture mm. started circulating online recently of when this was recording. It's These are a little, might be a little old when you hear this, that someone took of a Snickers bar that was was completely smooth, which led to people immediately assuming that they removed the swirls on top because it looked too much like the veins on a human, and this is a word I almost said earlier, peanuts. (laughs) peanuts. <laughs> People online were like, the veins on top look like the veins on a human mm-hmm. male member. Mm-hmm. And they were like, oh, woke culture. They de-veined the Snickers. <laughs> now they want me to cut my pee-pee off and throw it in the river. Fine, and I like doing that. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Disney. <laughs> my male genitalia is being disney fied now. <laughs> it's got Mickey hands on it now? Great. <laughs> People were freaking out, yeah. but the, what seems to have happened was this person's Snickers bar melted, oh. probably, and then okay. reformed and that's why I was saying mm-hmm. Snickers tweeted out a picture of the bar saying the vein remains oh, <laughs> which is God. disgusting <laughs> and maybe never want to eat a Snickers cigar. I feel like it's a funny thing for all of us to like it looks like a penis but when the company is like eh, that, that really makes it gross when the company yeah, knows like, that it actively looks like a come penis. Come and get it. Dinner served. <laughs> His protein bags. Oh. <laughs> 
disgusting. Uh, <laughs> that's what did gross me out though, because I was kind of looking through the Snickers Twitter, and everything is kind of like penis joke. It, penis it's kind of like penis, penis jokes, joke. and like kind of gross and broy. Like I dare say, kind of Joe Rogan. Yeah, like yeah, it yeah, kind of yeah. grosses me out. Maybe they know their market. Now comes the time that I've been waiting for. Oh yeah, we are going to now eat the candy. So you uh, following along with us? Okay. So let's look at this wrapper. Yes, 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 Mine yes, yes, says. Well, I got a I got a weird one. You guys have what? the picture of the candy on it. Yeah, oh, yeah. mine has a, a like. Oh, a, how old is yours? Oh no! Wait, what does eight seven mean on here on the date? What does that mean? <laughs> His says vote for Dewey. <laughs> got a picture of Ronald Reagan. I'll what? go over the calorie stuff and uh, after we take a bite because I'm okay. really hungry. A classic design: brown on the outside, yeah. big uh, blue lettering with a little bit but of shading in it. Yours that. says satisfies say on it because a lot of them a lot of them say certain things. But I was a little disappointed that mine because for a while they were like kind of aggressive. I guess Snickers is kind of gr- aggressive. It was yeah. like jabroni. Like <laughs> it's, it, oh, I'm looking at the design on the bottom. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like shoe that. prints. Let me see. This. It does look like shoe prints. Design. And you can almost see the little, like, almost like film or sprockets, I guess you yeah, call sprockets. it. On the side, where that kind of pushes it along. That's yeah, interesting. You know that. That's a nice pattern. Yeah. It's like Wonder Woman, actually. <laughs> yeah. It is. It's like, yeah, yeah. the W. Or um, if you flip it over, M for Mars. Oh, wow. It looks like a little heartbeat of somebody who's having a bad day, too. Yeah. <laughs> Someone who ate too many Snickers. <laughs> All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a bite. Yeah, I'm going for it. Here we go. Oh, we are, oh okay. Mm. I'm going to sniff it first. You know what I taste? The nougat. Mm-hmm. I haven't had a Snickers bar in a while. I feel like the nougat is the most pronounced. Yeah. It is very nougaty. I am going to now do a segment. I have brought a knife. Oh, oh yeah. God. Candy autopsy time. We are going to do... Scalpel. Please sanitize me. <laughs> we are going to do a candy autopsy. Wow. I am going to slice it down the middle. More of a candy vivisection. <laughs> I, I will uh, keep it alive. While Can, this candy Slender Man told me to cut this open. I've never sliced it. You should it. slice it long ways. Oh, yeah. That's a good question. That, that is a good... <laughs> you should slice it long. Ways? Huh. <laughs> Get a little closer to my knife. <laughs> Okay, so I've cut it down the middle and looking at it. Okay. Wow, this is it looks look like, at that. It almost looks like a like a. It looks like geology photos. It looks like I'm looking into a slice oh, wow. of the Paleozoic era. <laughs> you did a good job with those peanuts. Yeah, that's a good knife. <laughs> this is brought to you by the Pampered <laughs> Chef. <laughs> but yeah, I can see the whole. Well, it looks like half peanuts. But yeah, I see it right just from this little section. I see three peanuts yeah. in this thing. Yeah. I feel like everything is so well balanced, like the chocolate, the nougat, the caramel, mm-hmm. the peanuts. When you bite into it, the layers melt so perfectly together they to do. make one taste, as opposed to other candies where something is pronounced more than something else. Well, that's why it took them three years to get the house. <laughs> but look at this, uh, the long ways section oh, of it. Wow, wow. that's it, 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 like if I were a, if I were a Martian from the Mars family, this would be like the design on my marble top yeah. <laughs> on my kitchen. Mm-hmm. Like it, it looks that nice. It's a nice little design, but you can definitely see the separation when you cut into it. But when you bite into it, yeah, it, it kind of gets, mold, it yeah. molds it all mm-hmm. together. But that's a good thing. Yeah, it's a good taste. All my together. teeth are it not is. knife sharp. <laughs> <Luckily. Yeah. laughs> and the texture of the peanuts with the soft stuff too is always what I like. Yeah, the little yes. crunch yeah, going crunch. on, which you do not get with a Milky Way. You don't. It's all soft. Just like me. <laughs> mm. Pretty good. Mm. Pretty I'm good. Here's a back. That's yummy. That is solid candy. Huh? There's something about fun size and having one bite of it as opposed to a bar or a king size where you kind of get tired about three bites in. Mm-hmm. Not necessarily that it got bad, yeah. but just so much of the taste because it's so rich, you, you sort of get weighed down by it. You want more Snickers just later. Yeah, later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not, I, I can't control myself. I can't put oh, this no, down. Oh, yeah. We're going to yeah. down this whole thing right yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I specifically said let's get the regular sizes because it's a totally different experience with all fun size candy. Like it's almost almost like you know it's like the difference between a marathon no affiliation mm-hmm. and a sprint like right. it's almost like a, a whole different like you could be great at sprinting like some candy bars can be really good mm, in fun saying. size only but mm-hmm. the brain thing is like this is like the textures off the ratios off yeah. but like i wonder if there's that level of quality control on the fun sizes mm. like do we only have four p- peanuts right. that's a mathematically good, yeah. broken mm-hmm. down statistically <laughs> they have a think tank they got <laughs> minority report there's like pre-cogs <laughs> in a pool of goo <laughs> swimming in caramel <laughs> okay so i was curious about because they make such a big deal of like this is basically a protein bar like yeah, you're gonna right. get so much energy mm-hmm. so i looked at all the facts of a snickers bar and all the facts of a cliff bar uh-huh. a cliff chocolate chip bar which i felt was the closest approximation okay. between the two which a cliff bar undeniably that is a protein bar right it gets marketed as that it says it on the package it is yeah no one's saying a cliff bar is candy i would never make that mistake uh, <laughs> i've never done that <laughs> uh yeah yeah. Me neither. I don't give those out on Halloween either. <laughs> I don't get eggs re- uh, regularly for giving out what are apparently energy bars on Halloween. I would certainly be not that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so calories, Snickers, mm -hmm. 250. Normal size. Normal size. Okay. Well, we just state Snickers oranges are oranges from dust to dust. <laughs> so Snickers is 250 calories, which that's another thing. It says it right there on the. It says yeah. it right there, and they make a big deal about this. And we talked about. I don't know if you noticed because I haven't got a full size Snickers in a while. Like I said, it was smaller. Like it was yeah. noticeably smaller from what I knew, and that happened around when okay. Michelle Obama was doing all of her stuff oh, with like kids should not be eating so much candy. Right. So thanks, mm, Obama. Oh my god. Took my soda. <laughs> I have to add my own sugar to water now. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, yeah, it's like the people who will sprinkle sugar on cornflakes. I sprinkle <laughs> sugar into my fun dips. I mean, like, great, kids shouldn't be eating so much sugar, but at the same time, you're going to shrink the sizes and charge me as much? Yeah. Uh, no, thanks, Obama. <laughs> How um, dare you? But I wanted to ask, this was another thing. I got mine at Target. Mine yeah. was $1. Where'd you get yours? Chevron. I think it was like one and some change, maybe one. I got mine on a college campus. And it was a dollar forty nine. Really, dollar because I saw it, I saw at uh, Ralph's Kroger brand for anyone who might not be from LA listening. Thank you. It was like a dollar twenty five or something. But Target had the best price. Target's a fine company, right? Yeah. I, I have a question. Uh, are you going to finish? I, are you I finish don't that? even look at eating. My, I am definitely <laughs> you, going to finish. You haven't that. touched it in a while. Are you sure you're going to eat it? Because I didn't want to have too much candy in my you should, mouth. Long time. You should eat I it. I want to hear that though. Yeah. So, Pro prove it that you're eating the candy. Everybody, he's eating apples. Yeah. He didn't want me to tell, but he's eating apple slices right now. Why is your Snicker bar so crunchy? <laughs> and green. So I finished my medicine. Are you happy? Yeah, yeah. there you go. Lick, lick the napkin. Really? Now lick the knife. So calorie Snickers 250. Cliff Bar, mm -hmm. also 250. Okay. Fat content, Snickers 12 grams. Okay. Cliff Bar, 6 grams. Protein, which is what really counts yeah, in a, pro in a yeah. protein bar. Yeah. Snickers 4 grams. Cliff Bar, 10 grams. Whoa. So Snickers, I'm sorry. You are not a protein Whoa. bar. Oh you are the weakest protein <laughs> bar. <laughs> I got to stop eating a bunch of Snickers before I go to the gym then. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> sugar, Snickers, 28 grams of sugar. Oh. Cliff Bar, 17 grams oh. of sugar. That's, but that's a lot better. of sugar. That's yeah. a lot of sugar, but it's bad. I mean, you don't want too much sugar mm -hmm. in your protein bar. So there, yeah. I mean, like Snickers Bar is not a protein bar, but mm -hmm. it is no. verging in the territory. Cliff yeah. Bar is a protein bar, but also verging on candy. Yeah, they're meeting in the middle. Fiber, Snickers, one gram. Cliff Bar, five grams wow. of fiber. Wow, that explains a lot. Mm -hmm. That explains yeah. a certain amount of trips yep. I make to a certain room of any building. <laughs> that explains when I was climbing Everest. I had to bring my own toilet. <laughs> Carbs, 32 grams in a Snickers. Cliff Bar, 43 Whoa. grams. Sodium, Snickers, 125 milligrams. Cliff Bar, 130 milligrams. Okay. Oh, okay. That's, so that's, that's to be But you know, you're working out. Yeah, you need the salt. Up, sitting yeah. down and all that. I'm podcasting. Really hard. So you, mm -hmm. against yes. my direct orders, oh, very uh, courageously, brought two different kinds I of did. Snicker Bars with you. I brought a Snicker Snickers almond mm -hmm. and a Snickers white. Wow. I didn't even know there was a Snickers it's white. It's got a little clan Look hood on. Look how small the Snickers white is. Look oh, how, it's yeah. like thin. It's thin. Oh, whoa. We oh are, my God, I understand. <laughs> There's a comment being made by the, by the Mars people right now. Argument retracted. Whoa. It's almost fun size. Yeah. It feels noticeably less veiny. <laughs> Let me see. That Whoa. is, yeah, that's Look, commentary for sure. I'm yeah, saying, that's commentary. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They know exactly if I didn't doing. know the like marketing reputation of Snickers, I would say, come on. But <laughs> I think you are absolutely right. <laughs> yeah. Like the the almond one is is girthy. <laughs> yeah, girthy. Yeah, but this Snickers is thin it's and thin. A, it's a little delicate. Longer. It's yeah. a little longer. It is a little yeah, longer. Yeah. Okay, I'll give them that. Nobody minds that. Uh, fun size is most people's favorite. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so what is Snickers white? It's just. Uh, uh, let's white, see. Oh, white, white chocolate, chocolate peanut with the same everything else the same yeah peanuts caramel nougat open okay. it up and let's see what they look like all right so we still have the texture yes. on the bottom and oh it, it is smooth. It's bumpy it's, <laughs> it's got a disease oh no it's sickly that's what it is i think it looks normal <laughs> let's see what it looks like on the inside Oh my God, look how thin. Oh, that's, that's not well balanced. I also, should I say, I hate white chocolate. I don't know how the oh. two of you feel. How do you feel? I'm okay with that. Um, I only like white chocolate in the cookies and cream Hershey. Oh, Other than that, right. I'm, I'm not a white that chocolate. Really the thing, my problem is that it's not chocolate. It's right. just oh, it's like, not chocolate? There's what no the hell cocoa. Is it? There's no cocoa. It's just like, it's kind of like nougat. It's just like sugar and milk, oh, I guess. Okay. Let's try this. Maybe it's because the regular Snickers, all the colors are in the same field. This one, mm -hmm. it looks like there's just more white 
chocolate than anything else. The, you, there's more coating. The nougat is so flat. Yeah. The nougat is the same color as it, so it might be deceiving us a little bit. It is not full bodied. I will, <laughs> I will say that. No. All right. I'm going Good in. amount of peanuts, though. Yeah. Let's try this. Not bad. Peanuts, mm. kind of the star. Chewier. Yeah. Chewier. Way chewier. You miss that chocolate. Yeah. You Holy really do. Crap. The textures are all there. It, mm-hmm. I dare say it kind of sucks. <laughs> it does. It's a little creamier. It's not balanced out. There's more chocolate than there is anything else. At the end, the white chocolate really comes. You through. miss yeah. the actual chocolate. Oh yeah. You oh, like yeah. it. It is a great counterpoint. Yeah. Um, well, how would you describe the flavor of like caramel and nougat? It's like not earthier, maybe, but like it's not Nutty. chocolate. Nutty. Yeah, not chocolate. They're both sweet in different ways, but once mm-hmm. the texture is one sticky, one soft, and the melding of everything is. This is something that I forgot to bring up earlier. I am in the in the world of candy. I am a chocolate guy. I okay. love. Oh yeah. You I are love chocolate, chocolate expert. You are more of a gummy candy gummy fruity i don't know what you are greg (laughs) what are you everything i love everything he's a a pan candy man the candy Candy man pan Pan. (laughs) i i kind of lose it over taffy i don't know what it is about taffy but i'm kind of like older candy i do like older candy Mm. but for me since i prefer chocolate i am assuming you probably like this more than i do because you are more in the realm of like that sort of flavor Mm -hmm. but i need chocolate (laughs) my personal philosophy is i need chocolate (laughs) i enjoy the creaminess of it yeah but it makes you just want a normal Snickers. Right, yeah, right, right. Yeah. That's all it does. Yeah. It's a cover song. Yeah, it's a bad cover song. <laughs> this is Elvis's version of Fats Waller's music. <laughs> <laughs> Snickers is good old Memphis blues. White Snickers is Pat Boone. <laughs> For the calorie conscious. Yeah, yeah, do it. Only 200 calories. Oh. Whoa. That's what all the diet people yeah, eat. Yeah, <laughs> this must be diet candy. <laughs> This is for people who are watching their figure. <laughs> Four grams of protein. Okay. Same amount of protein. Same amount. We should have known, but I guess all the protein is coming from the peanuts. Yeah. And I would imagine they have the same right. number yeah, of peanuts. Yeah, it looked like peanuts. the same amount. Yeah. But definitely not the same amount of nougat. I don't know what's going on. No, with, yeah. I don't know if I got a defect. We got the one. Or like, maybe it's a cultural thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me explain a few things about white nougat. Let's try now. We have the almond one. Let's oh, right. Oh, yeah. See, okay. So first of all, bam. Yeah. Feel those veins. Sick boy. It is Feel thick. those it veins. Is it That's is a sick, sick boy. Well, I mean, almonds are bigger than peanuts. We can right? all agree. I wonder if they could fit 16 almonds because that might, Ooh. we'll have to see. There's no way. They're so, shaped out of it. <laughs> I know they're stick. It's like one of those tumors that have teeth growing out of it. Were these different prices? For they were the- all 149 Whoa, okay. at the convenience store. But yeah. if you go to the market and you want to buy almonds versus peanuts, they're going to charge you more. And this is how you get almonds in your system. But I would think because almonds are so much more expensive. Yeah, would think- it would be like a little. Check that bottom out. It's got way more. Like, divots. Yeah. Like the- oh, Oh, yeah. sprockets maybe are it's heavier oh maybe because the uh, almonds are heavier they have that more sprocket <laughs> base support the conveyor belt is like <laughs> struggling <laughs> I was made for peanuts we can't hold it captain amazing veins it is amazing veins amazing. that is a great Zing design <laughs> alright here we go can I even cut through almonds the That's, knife is shaking oh it's harder to cut and then there's definitely not there are uh, we could count the almonds yeah, you can, one two three four there's uh, what five almonds in there one two three four five and a half we'll say five and a half almonds just Look how much more nougat there is. Yeah. I don't know if it's just like a white on white sort of thing yeah. or the contrast of the nougat and the chocolate. But yeah, it does look like a lot more nougat. All right, boys. Mm. Oh, you can really smell the oh, almond. Oh, yeah. This. You can. Oh, it's wow. got a very strong smell. Yeah. Wow. Can it defeat? The Snickers. Mm. Hmm. Oh, wow. I felt like the caramel was way more creamy. Yeah. And it pulled away from the bar as I bit it. Oh, my God. I kind of can't taste the almond. Mm-mm. Mm. Greg has COVID. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I kind of can't taste anything. No, you can. Uh, I got it. I, I can't it. smell anything either. Here's my thing. The almond flavor is so strong. I think that it is overpowering mm. everything else. But I think the texture of this one is perfect. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. the texture of the almond is perfect. I think mm-hmm. the flavor of regular Snickers is best and the white one is awful. <laughs> yeah, the white one's awful. I really like this one. Yeah. This one's really good. I, I, maybe I've just, I'm kind of sick of almonds in my personal life. I don't want to get into it. Well, um, hard stance. I wish there was some sort of middle ground between the almond and the Snickers, but what about maybe, what if they yeah. did almond and peanut? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I'd like that. Almond would win though. It's just the, the taste is so heavy. So if you like almonds more than peanuts, this is the one. And yeah, let's yeah, what, yeah. How are 230 the, calories. So. Mm-hmm. Less calories. That's right. If you're trying to slim down (laughs) and let's go with the protein oh no almonds 
three grams of protein. Oh, less pro- that's weird. I guess there's less nuts. Oh yeah, there's only five almonds oh, in there compared to right. sixteen peanuts. I, okay, so if, let's rate just these three that we just tried. Right. I think I have to go with uh, Snickers Prime yep. number one. I'm gonna give almond number two. Yep. Without a doubt, white is not might. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna agree with that, but Snickers almond is really close. Yeah, like, it's, a, it's, it's a competitor. Neck and yeah. neck. If I was a little more into almonds, I it would put me over the edge because that texture was really good. It was. Yeah, I agree with both of you. Yeah, Snickers Prime is undefeated. Almonds is good, but I, I can't see myself eating a lot of it. No, it's, it's an really acquired heavy. Snickers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, yeah. it's like, it's for the, the Uber fans out there. This is like the gentleman jack. <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> okay, so let's talk about our personal feelings about Snickers because like we were saying, it's the undeniable king. It's the steak of, of candy. But for me, it's kind of like Chris Hemsworth where it's like, yes, he's gorgeous. He's the most beautiful man in America mm-hmm. or whatever, wherever he's from, Australia. I think I know how he got so <laughs> handsome. You know, I know about a little secret off the coast of Australia. Well, he used to be a fish that <laughs> ate a bunch of Snickers. But to continue with the Chris Hemsworth thing, he's Thor, right? Yeah, he's Thor. Okay, he's Thor. But even if we're well, talking you're about- a, you're a huge MCU fan. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, I know the uh, uh, Marvel. Um, I once read a Doctor Doom. <laughs> the thing with him is that, yes, I recognize he's beautiful. He's like the perfect specimen. Does nothing for me. Like, okay. He, he is classically handsome, classically a perfect man, but like, it's too perfect. Mm. So for me, that's why I like Colin Farrell. I was about to, I was yeah. like, I thought that, who's your candy Colin Farrell? My candy Colin Farrell is Colin Farrell. My Colin Farrell candy, I don't know. Probably <laughs> a, a Twix bar. The Snickers is almost too perfect for me to get mm. excited about it. Oh yeah, it's yeah. not an exciting bar It's at not, all. it no. is. No. But that's also too what- ubiquitous to be excited. It's, yeah, that, that, thank But you. that's also when we're talking about the grand scheme of humanity, most people <laughs> tend towards like, this is good, it gets the job done. I'm not willing to take a risk by getting a Butterfinger bar or something. Yeah, yeah. Like it's a safe candy. Yeah. I, I mentioned it before, but this was really something I do when we would, during the summer, we'd watch, me and my brother would watch uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. And during <laughs> the opening credits, they have assembly lines of chocolate being made. Yeah. So we would pause it, run to the store, get chocolate. But Snickers was never one of the ones that we got because it was the one candy. Like, yeah. it doesn't mix well with others because it's so, mm. it, such a big deal. And the taste is so heavy. Yeah. You'd rather get a bunch of little things. And you'll, it'll fill you up. And it'll you up so you want to get like Reese's peanut cups with you know uh Twix Sour Patch Kids and then that's that's a good mix but this doesn't mix because it it wants to take pre- it's banana yeah. in every well, flavor it wants to take it's yeah. not called the superior court of chocolate <laughs> it's the king of chocolate yeah like it pushes away all yeah. other candy from its space and for that I I don't know and for that, I, I don't know. I think we gotta king. kill it. Eat the rich candy bars. Um, <laughs> Personally, I probably haven't purchased a Snickers in years. No. Yeah. I think I would only get Snickers on Halloween because that's yeah. what most people. Yeah, fun yeah. size free Snickers are I my primary realize. Snickers it is. consumption. I, th- I think we're on a uh, we're in accord on this. So we're gonna rate the candies mm-hmm. out of how many cavities? Out of zero to five cavities, five what, being the best. Five correct? being. Well, of course, five. Ca- the more cavities, the better. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How many cavities would you give? Well, like it, it's hard to say not five because we are sitting here being but, like, it's the best one. It's but, this. Well, we're saying it's the best in terms of sales, yeah, in yeah, terms yeah, of yeah, yeah. prevalence, it, in terms for of for you. This is how I, I you for know, you, Greg. I do for this for you, you. For you. <laughs> A lot of people ask me like, what's? I always say if I'm talking about what the best thing is, I'm like, oh, Empire Strikes Back is the best Star Wars movie, but my favorite is this. Mm. So I always feel like I'm cheating a little bit by picking Out of two. How many? E- Ewoks. <laughs> your favorite, bro. You gotta go with your favorite. Uh, for you personally, how many cavities? I'd say you four cavities. Interesting. You could do half cavities. You could even do quarter oh, I, cavities. I have a bunch of half cavities. <laughs> <laughs> My doctor says I don't have to act on it yet. So four cavities. I you say give four it? cavities. Yeah. I I am going to give it a three and a half. Okay. Uh, I'm not a chocolate dude. And you guys know that. Yeah. So. yeah. Well, so you love the white one. <laughs> <laughs> so give me more of that flat white one, please. That looks like someone stepped on it. I'm gonna give it a two and a half cavity. Wow. That's yeah. That is almost damning, but it's it's, it's fair. <laughs> that is about fifty percent. Yeah. It's solid yeah yeah i i think it average averages out to about a three and i think that's fair like it's undeniably good but like it's boring that's why yeah. we have this other question i'm gonna ask after each one would you be excited to get this on halloween we'll ask this for every kid full size or fun size oh that's that will good. change yeah, yeah that, that will change. i am always excited to get okay fun size. let's ask both fun size Absolutely. Fun size is the right amount to mix in with other stuff and you don't get bored of it because the Reese's peanut butter cup 
once the one thing that they get for Halloween is bigger than that. I feel like it balances well as a fun size mix with everything else as opposed to a full size bar, which I would not want for Halloween. Really? Yeah. Okay. I am going to go the opposite way. I would not be excited for the fun size because the fun size to me is like filler. Like it, it's like there's the good candy and then this is the like insulation on the rest <laughs> of my candy suitcase or a pillowcase. No, it's a suitcase. It's a <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. I'm here to do business with you. Trick or treat. I've got a proposition for you. It's like Pulp Fiction. Right? <laughs> I have all these glowing butterfingers. You're like a, a door-to-door salesman. You just, oh, may I, may I come in for a second? <laughs> Sir, may I come in for a second? You open up your briefcase. My big shoe is in the... Because I'm dressed like a clown. I have a big clown shoe in the door. Yeah, I would not be excited for a fun size just because it's so common. And, yeah. I'm, and yep. it's like, yeah, whatever. But if it was a full size, just for the, the thrill of getting a full size candy, I would be excited about it. I would not be excited for the fun size, mm-hmm. but I would expect fun sizes. <laughs> it's Halloween. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to give fun sizes. That's a good point. I would be disappointed if I didn't get yeah. that. Yeah, if I got home and I didn't have any Snickers in my bag, oh, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> there will be a strange spree of slash tires in this neighborhood. <laughs> but if I got a full size, I'd be excited. It's exciting. Yeah. A full size. Anything, like, really. If I got a full sized Charleston chew, I would be excited. Right, 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 right. But I love, I mean, the dumping the cavity onto the table and everything's a small size and you're like, oh, then you make your little pile like yeah. this is the best one there's always going to be like a snickers in there you got the little pack of m&ms the peanut ones you got reese's cups you got smarties you throw those away (laughs) (laughs) okay let's settle down here (laughs) you eat at least one pack all right every year you forget that they suck you bite one you're like okay this is me (laughs) what do you have do you have colored a chalk i could bite into (laughs) all right maybe (laughs) can i stop recording uh the snickers i would be okay with my mom secretly taking those out of my bag for herself wow okay like that those ones i i would turn the other way when I saw my mom sneaking into my wow. Halloween bag. Yeah, I'd allow it. But Find uh, out which one has a razor blade, mom. <laughs> Let me know, mom. Yeah. If it came with a razor blade, I'd be a little <laughs> excited. It makes for a great blade holder. I'll put it <laughs> we're going to wind down from the episode now. I, we're going to play a little game, okay. different oh, games yeah. at the end of every episode. Mm. I've got some trivia for both of you. Okay. Five questions here. So you'll give me the answers. I'll edit out any, any excessive thinking time. Okay. All right. My whole life is excessive <laughs> thinking time. This whole episode. Uh, time. So Snickers, and we're done. So the first couple are kind of easy. So question number one. Right. Are we like taking turns? We just yeah. yell out the shouting? answers. I'll take going t- on here? taking turns. Right. I want to hear both of okay. your answers. Okay. All right. All right. Where was milk chocolate invented? Oh, I'm going to say Boston. Whoa. <laughs> Weird. Okay. <laughs> uh, Mexico. Okay. Who's is weirder? Uh, yours is weirder. Okay. Because cocoa at least comes from the Americas, Cocoa right? comes from yeah. the America, but not milk chocolate. Oh. So you ca- actually, you, ca- you kind of want a mixture of both. Switzerland is the answer. That's not a mixture of both. It's it's chocolate and then white people in Boston. You got, what is Switzerland if not the Boston of Mexico? What? They got it first. They yeah. and they didn't, okay, milk chocolate does not grow wild. You, it's they, an imperial thought. You take something dark, you mix oh, it with something yeah. white. Next question. Oh, okay. In North Dakota, between 19 Mexico (laughs) Boston in North Dakota between 1953 to 1967 what candy was banned for being a bad influence on children candy banned influence on children North Dakota what year is 53 to 63 to 67 14 years of a banned candy okay so World War II has ended men come home PTSD is not yet known rock and roll has about to hit Uh, Pat Boone is doing great (laughs) it was a bad influence bad influence oh candy cigarettes Oh, Boom. that's a great one. Guess. Oh, man, I can't beat that. You could guess the same thing if you didn't aren't just stealing his I, answer. I'm, I'm stealing his answer. And right? I will know. Oh, <laughs> candy cigars. <laughs> <laughs> look, no one said anything's bad about cigars. <laughs> oh, look at my little mafioso. <laughs> He's like chewing gum. Mama, mama, come here, mama. I, uh, he sleeps with the Swedish fishes. <laughs> Bad influence. Uh, 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 the ones that you drink. The wax. The candy ones. The, the can- candy wax The candy things. wax ones. That's a good guess, but candy cigarettes candy is the cig- answer. And what year was this? 1953 Wow, to that's 67. very forward thinking for the time. Well they done, buy- North or South Dakota. <laughs> they want them to buy real cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bad influence on the cigarette industry. It's our sales. So now these next three are, are, it's getting hard now. During a battle in the Korean War, what Jeez. did U.S. soldiers use Tootsie Rolls for? Oh, I know this oh. one. I think I do. You get shot, you put it in the wound, and it blocks blood from coming out. 
That was what I thought first. Uh, I you think can go with the same answer. No, no, no. I'm going to go with something different. I think um, you use it as some type of grease or lubricant. Oh, that's good too. Just, so it doesn't you can, freeze. You can put markings on wall with yeah, it. Yeah, you can you can write with it. You can trick people and think it's You do poop. anything but eat. Eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Tootsie Roll, the North Korean killer. Oh, they feed it to the enemy. <laughs> I'll tell you anything. I'll tell you anything. <laughs> the answer is to patch holes in vehicle fuel lines. Whoa, that's what they call right. soldier. Both kind of you. close. <laughs> we were kind of close. Both of you are pretty close. Okay. Yeah. According to, new question, according to the American Chemical Society, how many fun, which is a society I give my dues to. <laughs> Every year. How many fun size holes? Halloween candy bars would it take to poison a 180 pound person? This person right here. Uh, <laughs> let's find out. <laughs> Which candy bar? No, no, no. How many fun sized candy bars would it take to poison a 180 pound by person? By unit, not by so pound. By candy. How many, if you individual had individual candies, an unlimited amount of fun sized candy bars, oh my God. how many of them could you eat before this you pass like, out dead? This is like the, okay, uh, all right. guess the jelly beans in the, right, yeah, right, in right. the vase. Yeah, I'm going to cut this man <laughs> open <laughs> and it's going to pour out. Oh, shoot. How much does he weigh? 180 Eight pounds. pounds. Uh, I'm going to say uh, 1,500, 1,500. Oh, that's way too many. I'm going to say 250. Wow, two hundred sixty-two. Oh, very I don't know close. Numbers. Yeah. I'm not a serial killer. I would, uh, <laughs> I've never killed anyone with candy. That's She's proven. fine. Everyone, she's <laughs> totally fine. fine. <laughs> the American Chemical Society is what I've incorporated <laughs> as. Okay, so last question. Okay, for what ailment did some doctors in the 1800s prescribe eating chocolate? So you have this ailment. The doctor says, take this and you'll be fine. Oof. Okay, what is chocolate? Erectile dysfunction. <laughs> you see this Snickers bar. <laughs> this is what you want to model yourself after. I'm going to say migraines. Oh, that's good. Caused by erectile dysfunction. <laughs> More of a headache than anything. <laughs> God, what do they call it when your blood is thin? <laughs> oh, like anemia? Anemia. Anemia. Both pretty good guesses, but this it's even crazier than that. A broken heart is what Kid, they would prescribe. That's not, well, that's not even a you medical wasting condition. Time. Why would you go to a doctor for... Don't boo me! Just because I got my medical degree in the 1800s. I know this MRI costs $3,000, but you have a broken heart and you got to eat chocolate. It's either eat this chocolate or we're going to have to leech you. <laughs> yeah, so that's uh, that's our first episode. Yay! I want to eat real food now. Yeah. And now our after show where we eat lunch. <laughs> so uh, everybody, look, this is our first episode. Please subscribe to this mm -hmm. and leave a review for us because in these early days of a show, that's very important. If you have an iPhone, open your Apple podcast, search for us, just leave some stars, leave some words. It really will help this get this thing going. So like I said before, follow us on social media, Instagram and Twitter, Candy is Dandy Pod. Email us your mm -hmm. comments and suggestions or anything you feel. Candy is Dandy Podcast at gmail.com. Support us on Patreon, yep. please. Jeez. At patreon.com slash candy is dandy. It helps us pay for this candy. Yeah, we got yeah. candy funds. And all yeah. of our candy feet. debt. We're already in candy debt. <laughs> They're mad at me. I got Candy collectors. <laughs> Goddamn. Your knees are going to be gummy in a week if you don't pay up. And if we get enough of you supporting us on Patreon, we will start doing bonus episodes yep. where we will review cookies. Oh, uh, same yeah. format, oh. but bonus episodes of cookies. Cookies. I guess I didn't tell you about that. No, no you didn't. This is the first I heard. Well, yeah, I've been eating cookies for free this whole time. <laughs> right now, you're just help keeping us afloat. And uh, yeah, the, it'll it'll help us going. And please, yeah, keep tuning in. Uh, help support us. We're going to keep this uh, every couple of weeks. There will be a, bo a special bonus episode coming out uh, right after this one when this comes out of a different candy just to so tease you your see. palate yeah. tease your palate do we have any sort of catchphrase or anything have a sweet day I love that oh that's, that's so good sweet, <laughs> sweet. <laughs> have a sour day <laughs> have a veiny day so yeah thanks for listening uh, that's been us have a sweet day everybody. have a sweet day our fourth <laughs> there the fourth is. little barbershop get out of here you doozy <laughs> oh